Samaline and Stephanie vlog and in today's video my mom is gonna make some ahshi and before going to this video please subscribe like click that notification bell so you will never miss any video posted on YouTube and now let's go on with this video let's go so over here we have some kusa as you can see already cleaned and pre-cut so this is for here wait yeah this is just the cover and of course you'll be needing this specific tool I don't know what it's called but you you'll be needing this one you'll be needing some bowls so you can put in the kusa that is already cut in there as you can see my mommy already did that and this is all the guts or the meat inside so now my mom is gonna demonstrate how to do this so first of all take your kusa and just like you can say stab stab it around yes you're gonna stab it around and you're just gonna like scrape it it's kind of difficult but you have to do that you're gonna scrape all the meat in there or the guts you can say just gonna scrape it like my mommy's doing right now just scrape 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 as you can see yeah it's already done Okay guys, so now my mom is going to make all the kusa, like the rest of the kusa. And then when it's done, my mom is going to make the meat and stuff and the rest. So see you later. Okay guys, now I'll be showing you all the ingredients that you'll be needing for the filling of the zucchini or in Arabic kusa. So you'll be needing 2 kilos of zucchini or in Arabic kusa, 1 piece of onion, cut it into cubes, 2 medium sized tomatoes, also cut it into cubes, 4 tablespoons of rice, 300 grams of ground beef with some white meat aka uh, fat, 2 tablespoons of some tomato paste, one teaspoon of sweet pepper, two tablespoons of some salt, and over here we have the lids of the kusa or zucchini, and a bowl, and a spatula. So now let's get started. First of all, so first of all we're gonna start with the ground beef. We're gonna add it in the bowl over here. So now you're just gonna smash it with the and now add your rice in there, your two tablespoons, teaspoon, no tablespoons, right. So add it all in there. Now add, now you can add your tomatoes, your onion, add it all in there, sweet pepper. Your tomato paste, and now you'll be adding gradually your salt into your mixture. Just sprinkle everywhere, like my mom is doing now. Now it's time to mix, mix, mix. Just mix it all together, just like my mom is doing. So you can also use your hands if you want. But you guys, before you use your hand, make sure you wash properly your hands because you're working with food. Okay guys, now my, my mommy already finished mixing. Now it's time to put all this filling into the zucchini, aka the kusa. So you can take your hands and just squeeze it in there. You just want to fill it with the filling. And just do the same thing with all of these. So this is how my mommy is uh, pushing it. She is using this tool. We don't know again <laughs> what it's called. Yeah, we're just going to make sure we fill it up. As you can see. And now we're going to put it in there. In here. And just tell you guys one tip. Do not fill it completely. Because later you want to like uh, put the top in there which is 
this one as you can see so yeah my mom is gonna keep doing all of these and when we're gonna be finished doing all of these we'll be right back okay you guys as you can see because we had so much left of the filling we decided to take some baby or you can say small eggplants and now my mom is gonna do the last one so she's gonna push it and she's gonna fill fill them up but can you see how small the eggplant looks like they're so cute this is the big one as you can see it has a lot in there and yeah we're done Okay guys, now it's time to put the lid on all of this kusa and button jam. Or eggplant and zucchini. 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 <laughs> you know the name. Zucchini, I mean. So as you can see, we're gonna put the lid, you can say, not this, uh, the good side as you can see. So you can see properly. Okay. Okay guys. See that's all. Push it, and there we go. And now my mom is gonna do uh, the same thing for all of these, and we also have for the eggplant too. So yeah, we're just gonna do this, and when we finish, we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, as you can see, we already finished uh, filling all of these up and also putting the lid on. And now over here, we have a big, big pot and we have some beef ribs just for extra flavor or taste. And now we'll be adding one onion. That's my mommy already cut them into slices, as you can see. Now it's time to put all of this in here and just fix it. So we're gonna start with the zucchini. And we're just gonna make our way up like this. This we're gonna fix it. So this is a tip. I recommend you put uh, the big sizes at the bottom and the small at the top. This is a just a tip for you guys. So my mommy is choosing the big one so she can put at the bottom as you can see. So now my mommy is gonna place them and when we finish placing them we'll be right back. Now my mom is going to remove the plates because it's really hot. So she's going to use these two plates. Oh. Wow. Wow, look at it, you guys. It looks so beautiful. It's still not cooked, though. Uh, we need it to cook a little bit more. My mom is just putting the sauce at the top. And just telling you guys, if two tablespoons of salt is not enough, you can add more or less. If you think two tablespoons of salt is too salty, you can just adjust it. It depends like your liking, if you like salty stuff or not salty. And just telling you guys, my mommy also is going to put more um, some tomato paste. Because um, two tablespoons of tomato paste is not enough. But it also depends on you. It depends how uh, how much tomatoes already normally with no uh, like without adding more tomato paste. Uh, you can just leave it. But because my mommy like not only my mommy, all of us like the sauce to be red. So just why my mommy is adding more uh, tomato paste. She's adding like maybe two tablespoon more maybe. And now she's gonna mix it and yeah. Okay guys, now I'll see you guys after 15 minutes when it's completely 100% done. See ya! Okay guys, 15 minutes is done. And my mommy added some dry mint. You can add as much as you want. But they are finally done as you can see. And now it's time to eat it, enjoy it, and yeah. And just telling you also taste it. Now it's time to put it on a plate. Okay, you guys, so we just added two pieces only in the plate just so we can uh, taste it, but the rest is in this pot or in the boat. So now let's taste it. 
So we're gonna cut it, so... Wow. And just telling you guys, you can also eat it with laban. Uh, laban with uh, garlic, minced garlic. So now let's taste. If you don't know what is uh, laban, which is basically yogurt. Okay guys, now time to taste. Bon appetit. It's really steamy, as you can see. you really want to try this kusa or zucchini instead of putting meat ground beef you can just put any type of vegetable uh, you can put like the rice the tomato and the onion and everything but just not the meat if you are vegetarian but this is really really good I really recommend it and also if you're vegetarian you can use um, all these ingredients that I just said and hope you guys enjoy me and my mommy showing you guys how to make zucchini, aka kusamatliye. And I think you're gonna love it so much as I love. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, click that notification bell so you will never miss any video posted on YouTube. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys, hope you enjoyed this zucchini kusa video.